Hey everybody, welcome to Collins Creatures. This is a leopard boa, and I'm at the East Coast of the Super Expo in Oaks, and it comes to us from the Scafiri Zoo collection, and I'm gonna be talking about leopard boas. Now, leopard boas aren't their own species, they're actually a morph of the Sonoran boa, or Mexican West Coast boa. And they were originally part of BCC, or boa constrictor constrictor, and then later put into BCI, or boa constrictor imperator, and only recently they were given their own species, boa sigma, due to new genetic information. Sonoran boas are from arid and semi-arid regions of western Mexico, specifically the Sonoran Desert where they are named after. In Sonora, boa sigma are actually protected by native people because they are thought to be guardians of water and killing them would cause the groundwater to dry up. boas are a smaller species of boa, getting only around four to six feet long with females being larger than males. They have impressive thermoregulation skills due to their hot and dry environment during the day. They are mostly nocturnal due to the nights being cooler and where they hunt for small mammals, reptiles, and other night dwelling creatures to prey on and also, going out at night helps keep them out of the harsh daytime conditions. Sonoran boas use strategies of both ambush and active hunting to capture their prey. Leopard is a recessive trait that first occurred in normal Sonoran boas in the collection of Hans Winner of Germany. Sonoran boas are, tend to be darker than their constrictor cousins, and leopard boas are even darker than that. The pattern on the tail and tail section of this boa is the same as the body, though the colors may become more red, like on this one. The leopard trait is very variable, so it's hard to give a generic description because of this variability. But some traits include that they have a kind of golden head and or red chin, and they also have markings on their face that kind of look like whiskers of a leopard, which this one kind of has. Their body has blotches, dashes, and stripes, and some have red or pink bellies, which this one does indeed have. The care for Sonoran boas is very similar to boa constrictors, however, they do not need as much space as they are smaller snakes. A piece of advice for any boa keeper is that you should not overfeed your boas as they can eat whenever and whatever and can easily become obese and get the problems that coincide with obesity. And leopard boas tend to have digestive issues as babies. So this may be a boa sigma problem and not specifically one of the leopard morph. So that is the leopard boa and in that case the Sonoran boa as they are Sonoran boas. I hope you enjoyed and I'd like to thank Scafiri Zoo for allowing me to use their leopard boa in my video. And I hope you learned a lot about Sonoran boas. I learned a lot while I was researching for this video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see some on Collins Creatures.